You're listening to KEXP, listener-powered radio at 90.3 FM in Seattle, streaming worldwide at kexp.org. And the heavyweight champions are here today. It's oh, Idol. Super middle, thank you. <laughs> super middleweights, <laughs> excuse me. Donut you had me impressed and fooled there with all those moves. You got me all pumped up now, jumping up and down before the music even starts. The new album is called Crawler. I cannot wait to chat with our good friends, idols, but they're going to kick us off with some music in town for two shows tonight here in Seattle. It is my great pleasure to welcome idols live on KEXP. Yeah. Idols live on KEXP, playing at the Showbox here in Seattle tonight, and it's Showbox Soto tomorrow. I didn't even really properly say hello. (laughs) I was so excited for the music. Hello and welcome. Hey, thank you very much for having us. (laughs) Thank you for coming back and always being so generous with your time with us. It's our honor. Yeah. Uh, Shall I introduce the next one? Yeah, that'd be great. Crikey. I need to know which one it is. What are we doing now? The wheel. Ah, the wheel. This song is about alcoholism, Cheryl. And the beauty of recovery. Let's go, boys. 
Listening to Idols live on KEXP songs from the new album Crawler, which comes out on Friday. Is that right? Uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I don't know really. <laughs> they just tell you what to do, where to go. No, I, 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 I'm very much free, free willed, right? But I've been focusing on the best tour of our live show. I am so happy to hear that. It's a dream. I'm really, really grateful to be back in your beautiful country and playing with good stuff and everything's been a dream so yeah the album's out soon thanks for telling me friday this friday you can buy it in all good stores um this next song is bowen Mads. oh crikey okay uh, let's try it. Yeah. Follow me on the turns. Jesus loves 
to try Call off the town cry Climb that razor wire and meditate Medicate, meditate Hide your crescent bruise Shine your nation's shoes Tie your owner's noose and medicate Meditate, medicate Got me here Smash pills, fear no fear I came in from the rear To medicate, meditate, medicate Burn friendships to the ground Burn lost what I have found Turn my frown upside down and medicate, meditate, medicate. Adorn the house within, lie the baby skin, alleviate your kin. Now that's what I call medication. No. Thank you very much, Shell. Oh, no, the thanks goes to all of you. That was incredible. Wow. Idols live on KEXP, always bringing more than 100%, I'd say. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> all right. Now, this is our final song of the session. If I counted right, is that four? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is um, our latest single. Uh, it's called Car Crash. And uh, it does exactly what it says on the tin. It's about me being a car crash um, of a human being. Thank you very much for listening. We are idols with Cheryl. Let's do it.
I got myself together, I got myself in check I made myself a member, got myself out the red I upgraded my upgrade, give us our daily bread I got paid on payday, and now I dress well fed I clearly won the friendly, left my opponent dead I got the keys to the Lambo, I took a walk instead I am the prophecy, I did not come from nothing And nothing comes from me, I took your name in vain I burnt your refugee I chewed up your story, some toast between my teeth The fear's gargantuan, don't like what I can see Racist man on the right side, no one to trust on the left So I put my foot on overdrive, close my eyes and press Definitely I'll have a dab man, you know why I'm a dab man Super strength, superman, I'll have a stab and can can Don't forget I'm a jab man, pound for pound, grab for grab I'll smash that double barrel, mix and dish you back to Amsterdam Smash my one up on the Afghan and then I ride to the finish of the dash down. Ah! Smash! I'm a car crash! I got myself together, I got myself in check. You caught me on my knees, these are all red. You caught me on the floors, smooching the floor. No metaphor, my thoughts are poor, poor, my glass jaw Held open the door, chin to tarmac I'm serious Jack, as a heart attack No light, no help, nobody was where I'm at Smash, swing, piss and ass, everything turns black My feet beat the ground as my wings start to flap My oh my, I can feel the war Flesh on the bottom of the footwell floor Flash! Flash! Everything is turned into black! Ah, man! I'm a car crash. Idols live on KEXP. Nicely done. Thanks very much. Uh, it is always such a pleasure to see you. I have to say, we've been impatiently and eagerly awaiting <laughs> your arrival here in Seattle. You've been on tour. It's been five weeks now. Your final shows yes. here in Seattle yeah, yeah, tonight and tomorrow. Left. Yeah. Thank you so much. And you have such a community created around idols it's just inspiring and so loving and you just have to be so pumped to be back out playing live shows in front of fans again that's what you yeah. do best yeah it's something that we patiently waited for because we were part of the privileged few that can come back to our careers safely you know we knew that we were going to come back and tour again and that's a huge privilege to us so we kind of got our heads down and just decided to challenge ourselves and make something more fluid more fluent and and get out there and, and just work on becoming you know one of the best live bands we can be and uh it's a dream it's the whole journey's been stunning and we're very very grateful to be here you're very prolific as a band. I mean, bam, 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 bam. One album after another since 2017. Was there any idea to slow down during COVID when things were kind of moving at a different pace? Absolutely not, no. Like, you know, 
that's what I mean. Like when it started, we were surrounded by other artists, friends of ours, who are just as talented, more talented, just as hardworking, just as gracious. Everything like they 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 love what they do, but they had to go back to their their jobs, or they were they were ripped away from a tour, or they released an album into the ether with nothing to do with it, and like you know they were. They were all around us, so we wanted to show our gratitude by getting back on the horse and, and working as hard as we could. Well, we're grateful for this wonderful album, and you've always been really honest and transparent in your music, but I feel like this album goes very deep into a very personal narrative, and the stories that you're telling on Crawler are very vivid, and they're just brought to life by this soulful music. And it always seems like you have a game plan when it comes to a record. Yeah. What was the game plan for Crawler? Uh, it was it was a less less of a game plan than normal. We normally we have like a strict theme and stuff, but like with this album, it came from a time of reflection, and we were all kind of working on introspection and like just improving our mental health health. And in turn, our artists, you know, our, our art and, and our artistic language. And so it just came from a place of reflection, really. And it kind of, it wrote itself. I was in therapy and we were doing a lot more conversation around production. Bowen co-produced this album. And it was all about creating a sound and creating a, a, a landscape with our music. And the music came first. So I guess the theme of this was... Uh, <laughs> the songs. <laughs> we, we, you know, we had time to, we had the grace of time. So it was a lot more reflection and thoughtful. Um, and yeah, this is, this, this is chapter one of, of a new book, you know. You just mentioned that Bowen co-produced the album, and I know with Kenny Beats, and known mostly in the world for his work in the hip-hop realm with Vince Staples and others. And I know that hip-hop is something you've loved since you were a child and are passionate about, and that you worked with him some on Ultramano. What was it that you were excited that he would bring to the table, and what was it like? It's it, it, like the the main thing, the main reason why we got him in on Crawler was his passion and his enthusiasm. Like he's got that kind of infectious enthusiasm that like is like so extreme but not annoying. So it's like it's really infectious. You he makes you want to work harder and he brings an energy to the room. And also he's like he's a super fan of the band. He's interested in what we're trying to do creatively and he listens a lot. So yeah, he, he, he's just, I mean, he's a great producer. And also he just, you know, he, in, he instilled a lot of confidence in me to kind of try and do, sorry, I'm going to take these earplugs out, they're killing me, um, to try and like, you know, experiment with things on the production on the album and stuff like that. So yeah, it was, it was a dream team really in the studio. And I do feel like you've experimented with sounds here. You don't feel confined by any sound. I feel like there's always something new coming up. And I know like many bands, you don't want to be a defined by a genre. Are there other sounds and styles that you're excited to work into your music now that you kind of feel the freedom to do that? Yeah, very much so. I think what we were trying to do on Ultramana was we were asserting our identity as a band and like what it means to be an idol song. And then with Crawler, what we find is how we can find our identity identity in other signs and how we can push and experiment and uh, you know you use production and use the, so, the kind of sonic stratosphere in, in the songwriting process as well um, but it still fundamentally remains idols at, at least to us it does that's the important thing is like when we get to an end point is it like is this song still an idol song and it feels like now that we've done Crawler we're able to go even further it's a very exciting time in the writing process, yeah. I think I read somewhere in an interview that during the writing process, um, and perhaps for the first time that you actually were thinking about the production of the song in creating the songs. Yeah. Is that true? I mean, how was that different for you? Or what made you want to approach it like that? Well, it, because, because we had the, the luxury of time, and we also had the luxury of like, normally in the songwriting process, we're set up in a room very similar to this. And you've kind of got to gotta put it all on the line first time you, you, you play something to each other. Whereas with this album, because we had the luxury of time and separation from each other, we were able to kind of focus on the subtle nuances in the sound that would deliver the same impact but, you know, it gives you a bit more of a sense and it takes a little bit longer to get there and it's, it's, it's a bit more considered. Um, so that, I mean, that, that, that was the big thing with this album and that's why it sounds 
so different, I would say. I knew the first seconds that I heard the Beachland Ballroom that we were in for something different, that you were going to new territory with idols, and it so showcases Joe's voice in a way that surprised me. Um, you've got a beautiful range and such a beautiful voice, and you had said that, that writing that song gave you more creative freedom. What did you mean by that? Um, is what you said a minute ago, Cheryl, is like, um, no one's restricted by sound, what they can make. Like, art is, is not science. You can do whatever you feel. And um, I think given the last two years, it just allowed me time to really appreciate what's important. And that's what you love. And if you're given uh, the gift of a career and an audience that carries you through a time like now, you, all you can do is is improve and, and challenge yourself and like challenge each other as artists. And I'm never going to turn back. Like I'm not I'm not here to apologize for what I love. I'm here to express myself. And um, it just came out, you know, like that sounds cliched, but it did. Like I just went in the booth, hadn't written anything. Bowen and I talked about the Beach and Ballroom and MTT 420 and a couple of other tracks on the album before I wrote the lyrics for the first time ever. But like what I did was just go in with an idea of a story and then just sing, see what happened. And Kenny was really good, you know, he works with a lot of rappers. So he's, he's good at on the fly, like leading me in the right direction. And I just, the melody was, just there, you know. Um, it's, yeah, it just feels right. Just, like, all of it feels right. Meds feels right. It's all just me and, like, all my flaws and facets, you know. I'm, like, full of creases. <laughs> just, I'm just opening them up. Well, you've always been honest with your fans. I think they can feel that, they can appreciate that. And another thing I hear you talk about in interviews, and I mentioned this to you earlier when we chatted, is that you think a lot about, I mean, you care about your fans, you care about your community, and you care so much about the world around you, but you have gr grown over the years and you know that you need to take care of yourself, mm -hmm. both mentally and physically and in all the ways we need to take care of ourselves so that we can take ourselves out into the world yeah. and put that forward. I mean, and it sounds like such a simple message, but it's a lot of hard work. No, I mean, I, I can't, uh, especially like now in reflection the last two years, I don't think any of us can say it's hard work. You know, we, we've been given the gift of safety in this time because of an audience that have carried us through, you know? And that, so that's allowed us the time and the space to improve ourselves, you know, to look after ourselves, to change our habits, to go to therapy, I started boxing, all these things that I, I, and I you know, with a, with a daughter, in the world, I want to be able to be there and be fit and ready for war every day. And like, that's how I'm showing my appreciation. I know the boys are all the same. We're the fittest we've ever been. Fit as a butcher's dog, eh, Dev? Some might say, what? some might say not. You use the mic. Some might say I am. There you go. Some might not. Um, but yeah, mentally, you know, like this tour, it's been five weeks straight and, um, I, you know, I could do another five. If I didn't have a two-year-old to go into, I would. Um, I feel great, and it's, it's a joy and a privilege. Well, you all do look healthy and happy, and we're so honored to have you here today, always sharing your time with us and having you end the tour here. And you fixed up and look sharp. I hope Bowen gets a, a clothing allowance. You always bring it. Well, thank you for bringing that up. <laughs> I brought it up a few times. And uh, Actually, you have bought, like... A lot of dresses for me. It's, it's yes, we have bought you a lot of dresses, Brian, yes. Well, thank you so much. Um, we adore you. And the new album, Crawler, out this Friday on Partisan Records. And yeah. enjoy those shows tonight. Thank you very thank much. You. Long live KXP and everyone that carries it. Well, we appreciate you. Thank yeah. you for being here today. It's Idols Live on KEXP Seattle. Much love. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.